We know that gender inequality is not just an issue that the fire service is experiencing. We know that we face gender inequality here in Queensland, across Australia, across the world. In fact, last year I launched the Queensland Women's Report that showed we have still a long way to go to reaching gender equality here in Queensland. The gender pay gap is higher than it was 20 years ago. We know that one in four women experience violence at the hands of their partner and we know that three in five women will retire with no superannuation coverage at all. So there is a lot to do to reach gender equality here in Queensland and so important to have conferences such as Women and Firefighting Australasia which can look at how male dominated industries can play a key role in shifting a culture within an organisation. And I think the work that is being done here in Queensland in the fire service is really leading the way in how to take a male dominated industry that clearly has uh, cultural uh, attitudes towards women that perhaps are now very out of date and not accepted by the community and how they change those around. And I think the work that they've done putting women into leadership positions like the Commissioner Katarina Carroll uh, and two superintendents means that now women are in leadership positions and other women within the fire service can see women in leadership positions and want to be women in leadership positions in those organisations and finding role models and people that can mentor you, other women in an organisation is so important to changing the culture and sometimes having that structural change at the top of an organisation sends a powerful message to change the culture of an organisation. The evidence is out there, the research is in, the data is absolutely conclusive. We know that when both women and men are involved in decision making, there are better outcomes, better decisions are made. We know that private companies that have more than one woman on their board outperform those with no women at all. But of course we've still got a long way to go and it's not just you know, the fire service, it's not just the public service, it's our whole community that needs to really embrace and fight for gender equality if we're going to get there. I certainly know firsthand how tough it is uh, to experience a, a male-dominated industry and straight out of university, my first job as a young lawyer was a young lawyer for the uh, Manufacturing Workers Union, which is a pretty blokey place and I tell you what, some of them didn't really appreciate uh, the 22-year-old young lawyer telling them what they could and couldn't do on a work site. And I did have to overcome a lot of negative attitudes, being called girly in professional settings, uh, really having to overcome some of those barriers. And I I found other strong women leaders, um, not necessarily in my workplace, but in other workplaces, and really learnt from them and developed that strength to overcome some of those challenges. And certainly I think now in politics, in the chamber, in the house, that's really helped prepare me um, for what unfortunately can still at times be a fairly sexist environment. An amazing leader brings everyone with them. They value diversity. They value everyone's opinion in decision making. They bring people with them. They say the support diversity and a difference of views. Uh, they bring everyone with them uh, and they make the tough decisions when they need to.